If I... Ah! Oh, 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 my God. She's got me. All right. I guess I have to. <laughs> I won. <laughs> Welcome to the Tony and Ryan podcast. I'm Ryan. This is Dr. Author Tony Lodge. Hello. We are calling MJ in Pittsburgh. Oh, Pittsburgh. Have I been there? Pity. Nah. nah. Haven't been there. <laughs> <laughs> we were sort of close. Oh, no. Nah, Do you reckon even. MJ's been there? Yeah. Oh. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> MJ, hi. Oh, my God. Tony and Ryan, hi. Aren't you so lucky, MJ, that that wasn't like the insurance company or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, fuck them if it was. I oh, call oh. The f- they I- can handle it. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yep, couldn't agree more. Uh, MJ, tell Tony and the Tarfers what you're doing this Saturday. Um, well, this Saturday I'm marrying my wife. <laughs> you're getting married. That's getting married so to a fellow Tarfa. A f- oh, my. Well, what yep. a union. Yeah. And Papa, you, I hardly know her. It's Taurus. She's right here. Oh, oh my God. God. Hello. No, well, she can book her own time in. Thank Whoa. you. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, however, uh, please post some wedding pics on the gram and tag us in it because I'd love to see how the, the type of wedding looks this weekend. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I will. Thank oh you my so God. much. We approved yeah. this wedding. Yeah, I was going to say, well, actually, I'll, um, the fact you guys are getting married and didn't ask our permission is yeah. interesting. It's but, rude. Uh, it's we'll, rude, frankly. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Will you approve today's episode, though? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes. Yeah, one time. A thousand times, yes. Yeah, luckily we asked you. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> my name's MJ. I'm from Pittsburgh, and I approve this podcast. Tony is waving, but she should be concerned because she and you are about to hear the most harrowing tale involving a drive through that you will ever hear in your life. I would like to come to the defense of a drive through <laughs> because I think that the drive through in this situation, and I don't know the situation yet, but I think that the drive through might be the innocent bystander in all of this because a drive through is a gift from the Lord. Drive throughs are great. I'm pro drive through. We are a pri- pro drive through podcast. Thank you for putting that on the record. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to break down this story bit by bit. Oh, I love it. Um, I love details. Now, first, yeah, my association with drive throughs is I think instantly like McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know Starbucks is getting into the drive-through game. Yep, and in America, I'm pretty sure you can get cash out from the bank without getting out of your car. Huge move. That's wild. Yeah, I mean, now that cash isn't really relevant. How good that on a Friday night? Yeah, it's you know maybe 10, 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to get out of your car. Get three hundred bucks out. <laughs> what for? Facebook For Marketplace. Big, yeah. Yeah. And so before we get into the story, Tony, if you're new to this show, Tony is like a business whisperer. I am. Now, business. I gave Tony. <laughs> 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 no one encouraged that. No one encouraged. Oh, she's hit the ground. She's down. The business whisperer has hit the floor. <laughs> she's down and out. She's pretty, uh, very impressed with her comedy. I. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it here. I'm back. That was actually very funny. Thank you. As evidenced by you laughing at your own gear. I actually blacked out for a second. <laughs> I think. Did you see the dots? <laughs> yeah. 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 So business. Yep. I asked the business whisperer <laughs> yesterday. I said, I'd love for you to come in tomorrow morning and pitch some things that should be a drive through. <laughs> because again, the story I'm getting to, okay. I'm going to guess you're not going to pitch that. Uh, okay. So that was going to be my question. What if I pitch the thing and then you're like, oh, oh it's you'll over. see it in my face. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that's not even the, that's only one part of this wild tale. Okay. All right. So I think I've talked to you about this before. Mm. A drive through boost juice. Yep. Where you can, or like a juice bar. Yeah. We can go through and get like a little green juice on your way because yep. there's not really any places 
where you can get like a smoothie or something mm. on your way through. Star- Starbucks would do a smoothie, but it's not their bread and butter. <clears throat> it's like well, yeah. and, and we don't do that here anyway. Yeah, like Starbucks but Boost really Juice would be great, and they will get so much business from hungover people that don't want to get out of the car. Because at the moment, I think this is the other part of why I think it would be successful. Mm. They're only in shopping centres. And you have to go into the centre. So you have to park in the actual shopping centre yeah. car park, walk into the thing. You can't even just like kind of swing past one. So, there was one that I used to go to in Paran, like out the front of the jam factory. Yep. And uh, for people that don't know Paran that well, everyone <laughs> is the hottest fucking person you've ever seen. And if you're in the zone for a boost juice, you're either sick or hungover as fuck or dehydrated. And as Tony knows, once you start to feel thirsty, it's already too late. It's already too, too late. late. So, I actually like a boost juice. Can I just say like yeah. as someone that doesn't party a lot or anything, yeah. I feel like a boost juice regularly. Yeah. I love them. I think what I was getting at is you're not in your best. Yes, sh- sure. You're not dressed to the that. nines and then you appreciate get out that. of the car at the yeah. jam factory and everyone is just hot as fuck and you yeah. just feel like an idiot. Can I just also say that there's not a lot of parking around there? Oh, it's horrible. So it's like the, practically I think that a boost juice drive-thru, drive-thru would huge, do very well. Huge tick, big tick for okay. me. Okay, I've come up with this. I've never seen this. I don't know if it's a thing. A drive through chemist. That should be a thing for the exact same reasons as the boost juice. Because you're sick. Put the boost juice and the chemist in the same one. Thank you. What a crossover. So you drive into your business. That was very good. Business. Hey, man, can I get some Telfast, uh, some cold and flus, and the uh, what's the green smoothie with all the. Green tea mango mantra is what I get. Like, imagine going in there and being like, can I get some tampons and a green tea mango mantra? Like, how good? You don't have to get out of the car. You You can sit there with your hot water bottle on your tummy. You you know, what a great idea. Do you reckon they could crush up the antihistamine and put it in the smoothie? Pop it in. Yeah. (laughs) It's like one of those wellness shots. They just, they squeeze it right in. (laughs) But imagine like- I love chemists. Great call. Great call. Yeah. You've got your baby in the back seat. Your snotty little toddler. You don't want to take him in and dirty up the whole store. Or they're fucking past the fuck out finally. And you're like, I just really need to go. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great thing. That's a great Oh, that's that a great is a great call. idea. Yep. And the other one, I think I'm really proud of this one, a drive-through cold water fountain to just fill up your water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> because. Is this a free service? Well, I don't know. But like. For a buck? But yeah, like yeah. I would pay for my water bottle to get filled up with like clean filtered water. Yeah. Because I don't want to go and buy a bottle of water. I don't want to do that. I don't need a random fucking disgusting plastic bottle. I don't like the taste of it. Yep. I'd rather just fill up my own water bottle. I think like eco conscious. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, I think a, that's great a really idea. good idea. Business. Business. Um, let me. I don't know whether I have. Have I gotten close to what? No, but your goal wasn't to get close because okay. if you got close to this, I would call you a fucking idiot. Oh. Now, I don't know whether I should just read the first line of this story or just read the whole thing and then we can go back. Okay. No, go. I think I liked when you said we we're going to go bit by bit. I work at a drive through zoo. <laughs> oh, no. Drive zoo. Drive yeah. zoo. What? Like a safari? <laughs> but then it's usually like the safari driver. Is driving I mean, you? Yeah. Is this like Werribee Open Plain Zoo? No, it's a drive through zoo. I don't So you get know how it. when you go through the Burnley Tunnel? Yeah. But there's just like giraffes. You know when you go on the Eurostar to Paris and there's no fish? Well, there are, it's but that, you just but can't there see are them. there are fish. Yeah. No, there are fish at the Eurostar. You just can't see the fish because you're in the tunnel. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. Actually, but yes, that's probably the closest this thing. This is what we're, yeah. But imagine, you know, the uh, McDonald's near Northland, the like across the street from Northland. Oh, at the Home Ag Centre. Yeah. Yeah. Went there the other day, actually. Fantastic service. So imagine there you drive through and you go, I'd like to see the monkeys. And they go, yeah, just drive down that one. So the like glass of the cages is like either side of you. And you just sort of drive through. That is strange. Okay. Do you want me to read the whole story? Yeah. Do you have like, can you tune into like a local feed and it's like telling you on your radio yeah, what's going on? Yeah, but the monkeys on? don't speak English. No, 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 no. Like um, 
Number you know, one hit music station for chimpanzees. <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, you know, like when you're on like a, a, a walking tour or something and yeah. they give you the little iPod and it's like, oh, and up on your left yeah. is the fucking Sistine Chapel or something. Like is there a thing you can tune into like when you go to the drive-in and it's like, oh, that's the lion, that's the. All great questions. I don't actually know any more information about the drive through oh, zoo than you do. Okay. All great questions. I'm just trying to make it make sense. It, yeah. I, but I don't know if it does. No, I okay. No, you're right. And it I'm actually so doesn't sorry. make sense. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm sorry. I work at a drive through zoo. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. Like you don't. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Actually, I missed a step. This story came in because we were talking about weird places you'd done it when you did it at the spa at the Airbnb with your friends. I work that at. That is uh, some of the words, like grammar. Let I me feel just like read the story. Because I didn't have sex with all my friends. No, like you I had was an Airbnb, Airbnb, Airbnb with, with my friends, friends and, and happened to have sex in the hot tub. No jizz happened. I used to work at a drive through zoo. No, you didn't. There was a large giraffe exhibit that had these high cranes so we could feed the giraffes on their level. Question All giraffe exhibits are large. On a few occasions, I bent over a co-worker up there because we thought it was hilarious and also it's a stressful job and sometimes you just had to get one away. Stress wank, I believe you called it the other day when we were talking. I did, off air. <laughs> <laughs> I did, not during a recording. You called it that? Yeah. 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 Stress wank, I believe, is the term you used. Yeah, but this guy stress wanked in someone else's butt on a crane above a giraffe. What a At a sentence. drive through zoo. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay. So which part would you like to dive into? Or do, is that just, have we, have we heard enough? <laughs> I just think that the chemist is such a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> hey, it's MJ from Pittsburgh and you're listening to Tony and Ryan. Shout out to a few of our champion tarpers over at our Patreon. Um, our Patreon is, we've got heaps of exclusive content over there and all of the names actually that you're seeing scrolling across the bottom are names of our tarpers from every tier. So if you'd like to check it out, all the information is in our little description. Um, but some of our champion tarpers right now, Nikki, good on you, Nikki. Thanks, Nikki. Nico. Thank you, Nico. Oh, my God. It, it, the Alex, so it doesn't continue the same trend. Okay. Um, same Joe, is that Joe, Alex's fault or the person that put the list together? Not like just asking a question. Okay. You're choosing violence and I don't know why. Kate Lou, good on you, Kate. And your love. Oh, good on you, love. And uh, Jody with the hair. Love you, Jodes. Jody with the hair. Jody with Was the hair. Was that her? She called herself that or have you named her that? Jody with the hair. Is that wow. how it came through? I love As that God for you, intended Jody. It. Yeah. Yeah, love that. <laughs> um, last week I told a beautiful heartfelt story about my cousin Georgia getting engaged. Um, because yep. Luca, her now fiance, I uh, took her on this beautiful day out and then he proposed to her on the doorstep. Mm -hmm. Of the house uh, that they own together. Yep, and then she said yes and then they opened the door and the whole family's there for a big surprise. That is beautiful. Uh, however, let me just, I thought what a beautiful romantic tale. Let me just remind you of Tony's first reaction to this story. Ryan. He proposes and then they go inside and the whole family's in there waiting and it's a big surprise party. F*** you want to be sure, eh? <laughs> if you've got the whole family on the other side of the door. Also, I'm sucking that dick. <laughs> if you've just given me a diamond, I am. Very nice ring, You're by on way. your knees. <laughs> Can meet you down there, sweetheart. I can't have my family on the other side of that door. I've got a mouthful. Do Your not knees dusty, mine too, sweetheart. How many carrots? That's how many times we're going. I will keep sucking that dick until you die. Well, that's what the ring means, I think. <laughs> so that is... Risky territory, I feel. <laughs> that was like hearing the nut bush in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> um, may I ask a question? Logistics mm. chat. Why mm. has my swearing beeped? 
I feel like if the content's not offensive enough, is this, <laughs> like is the swearing pushing that over the that edge? That was the limit, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Does the swearing get beeped in the podcast? No. No. No, that was the the real. Oh, okay. I was like. Because <laughs> YouTube you guys, was like, nah. Right. Like no, no, shorts no. or TikTok or no, no, one no, of that, them, yeah. That's so fine. But I was like. <laughs> Does that happen every show? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, because nah. I post the podcast and I haven't heard that version. Nah, nah, Is nah. someone changing it behind nah, my back? it must have been TikTok <laughs> or Instagram or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just like. I said some risky shit. shit. Is that what? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm so happy for um, Georgia and Luca. Yep. Um, I'm so happy for them. I'm so glad that your 93-year-old grandma Betty was there, my yep. best friend. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm really happy for the family and I'm glad that they were there. Now, the way I found out Georgia was getting proposed to is I got a calendar invite on my Google calendar said, saying George is being proposed to. See you there on Saturday kind of thing. Which I I feel with the hierarchy of – I feel like finding out your cousin's engaged is definitely a phone call. Getting Mm. engaged as well as like, oh. It's definitely a phone call. Maybe – but a a calendar invite is just (sighs) – Yeah. So some people have heard that story and somehow still had uh, dusted themselves off after hearing Tony's response – and said, I would also like to share some uh, inappropriate hierarchy of communication from their family. Oh. Which uh, was what we were trying to get to on that day, actually, but we got carried away. <laughs> I believe someone said, Thanks for the carrot, show me yours. No, I said, How many carrots is it? That's how many times I'll do it. Finney River, not a fake name. Hi, Finney River. I found out my sister got married because she posted photos from her wedding day on Facebook. <laughs> I knew she was engaged and was planning on flying into town for the wedding, but nope. Whole family was there and everything looked like a great day. Yeah, so the whole family being there, that's rough. Yeah. And I think they were like, oh, Finney's out of town, so, you know, they probably won't come, so all good. And just- I have a question about, like, being the friend or family member that like lives out of town don't you think that you need to do like a uh, 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 not if you're having a barbecue on a saturday yeah but like if you're having a party it's like i know you can't come but just want you to know that you're invited i think that's nice i think that's fair i think yeah if you guys are catching up and having a coffee i don't need to be invited to that but i think if there's a wedding or an engagement party or well i lived away for 10 years. A big birthday. And I always got a, hey, I know you probably can't make it, but. But it's my 30th. Would yeah. you like to come? You know, I think something, because there's something about living out of town where you go, yeah, I've got my own life, but like. Still nice to feel included. Yeah. 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 Jackie Grace. Hi, a, Jackie. A family friend asked, why weren't you at your grandpa's funeral? That's how I found out he'd died. I bet you that was just a Facebook message. No, uh, no, she saw him down the street. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I was at your grandpa's funeral. Where, where were you? What? Granddad died? That is horrific. Mm. God, and wouldn't, yeah, your auntie just get a fu- fucking mouthful after that. You know, like, oh, shit. Um, now That's I'm going to read this next one. <laughs> oh. Do you want some off-air chat? Yeah. Um, on Monday, we're doing name-based coincidence chat. Love it. And yep. I've 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 put one of those on my lists of hierarchy of communication. I've just had a look and I've gone. That's, That's n- not no. the same thing. <laughs> um, but a great story about two ladies named Naomi coming up on Monday. So oh, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to read this one from Brooke. Hi, Brooke. And, and she knows someone named Brooke. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> we can, as a team, similar to the drive through zoo having sex on the crane, yep. decide whether we want to, like, break it down or maybe we can just nod and, like, push on with our day. Okay. Because there's just a bit going on there. All right. Question. Mm. Is this the last one you've it got? Is. Okay. okay. It okay. is. Unless you want to hear a name-based coincidence story about <laughs> someone called Naomi. Oh, my God. God, Naomi, someone was just telling me about <laughs> someone called Naomi before. 
Now, I don't have siblings, though I didn't grow up with siblings, so to speak, and um, so I don't get the whole sibling rivalry. Yeah. So maybe I just don't get it. Okay. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe this is on me. Okay. No, 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 but it's not on you. It's just like not something you've experienced. Yeah. I found out my grandpa died by my brother's Facebook post. Karma had my back though because 10 years later, my brother found out our dad died by my auntie's Facebook post, so I guess we're even. You know? Pros, cop that. Cons, dad's dead. Dad's dead. Um, okay. But sucked in. Got you back for the uncle, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. I think a granddad is different to a dad. It was the, the granddad was the brother's post, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, fuck me. Is that your first thought when you found out your dad's died? You go, oh, sucked in, brother. It, it doesn't. Your dad's dead. Sucked in. It, uh, like, also 10 years later. Yeah. Like, you're still hanging on to that. Yeah. Is Brooke, Bruce Brooke needs some more stuff. I, I think when you said, like, oh, maybe I just don't get it because I don't have siblings, I've got a few. And um, <laughs> that is not how I'd feel yeah. about it. Um, I've been to therapy, though. So, oh, yeah. So, so maybe yeah. it's that. Yeah. Um, I do get the sibling rivalry thing, but that feels like quite sad that your brother would find out mm. that your dad died from a Facebook post. Mm. When, like I just cannot even imagine. When your beautiful mum Liz passed away. Yeah. Um, God rest her soul. God rest her soul. Um, also, I called her Lizzie during the week. Yeah. She doesn't like that. I know she's been dead for 10 years, uh, but she doesn't like that. And I'd like to say sorry, Liz, for calling you Lizzie. And also sorry. Mate, I think if, to be honest, and this is going to give you a huge ego and maybe I shouldn't even say it. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> this is, nah, nah, we're coming into the weekend. Pump me up, dog. But I think. Would she like me? I think so. <laughs> and I think that if anybody was going to call her Lizzie in that way, I think that she would have been okay with it. And I think she would have been like, oh, yeah, just was chatting to Ryan or Ryan mentioned me on the podcast today. Like I think this I think is she huge would news like for that. me. I think that's she would huge like news that. for me. Um, would she have been okay with the fact that I joked about us using a credit card to carve out her to ashes? To wrap her up. <laughs> yeah, and um, doing lines of so her. So I did think about this. Yeah, would she I, have been cool I, with it? As a joke. Yeah, it was a joke. Yeah, like Get who hasn't it. done lines of a dead mum? <laughs> yeah. I think what I was getting at is when your beautiful mother passed away, yeah. was your first thought like sucked in sisters, your mum's dead? No. You know what I mean? No. Or would your first thought be like, oh, damn, my mum's dead? Um. You know what I mean? <laughs> It w- yeah, <laughs> I mean, that, but also you don't really think about it like that. You're just like, fuck. Yeah. I wasn't but really revenge thinking- on siblings wasn't your no, first. definitely yeah. not. Yeah. Nah, and that's just my experience. Yeah, I know, and who are we you to know, judge how Brooke deals judge, with grief, so. <laughs> yeah, um, hey, i got to you love to see it here. This is a game you can play with your partner if you want to get your dick sucked this weekend. Propose? <laughs> 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 two ways, two ways. Yeah, actually, I was going to say I'll demonstrate with Tony Lodge, but I think she's already told us the answer. Redacted. <laughs> Let me demonstrate with the hot and sexy Tony Lodge. Tony, yeah. if you scare me, you get to suck my dick today. If I... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. She's got me. All right. I guess I have to. I won. You did. Go on, sweetheart. Get away from me. Oh, So, hang on. <laughs> Logistics chat. Uh, no, nah, that's Oh, it. it's not required? Okay. I've got your love to see it here. I've just <laughs> I've to send Does you the link. Does that count as my love to see it? I don't think so. Because I've got another one. Okay. But no, let's go with what you got. Uh, I've got you love to see it here. It's a, a reel I just sent to you on a um, uh, text message. But um, this video just like really made me laugh. We'll pop it up on the screen if you're watching on YouTube. <laughs> um, it's just really sweet and innocent and basically like somebody... <laughs> 
somebody is like on the upper level of a boat, it yep. looks like, um, and someone's f- like dangling their feet off the edge. And with the person that's up above who's filming, they're like pretending to like alligator chomp the feet of the, <laughs> and the person's like moving their feet out of the way and they're like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> it's, it just like really made me laugh. I thought it was really fucking, fucking sweet. Um, and the, the caption is small moments that make me love humanity. I just thought no, it was love really innocent and really fun. I do love to see that. Um, <laughs> Bit what- different vein to Ryan's. Don't say vein. Oh, redacted. Um, I'm going to send you something and I'm scared. Oh, that- so you're getting another turn at this. Yeah, I'm going to have another crack Do you it. want us to cut out your you other you love to see Do not it? redact the other one. Uh, now, Amanda Sinclair and about 50 other people have sent this to me. Oh. So I'm scared. Is it that the word homeowner has the word meow in it? Does it? I reckon you should send Tony that meme. <laughs> no, nah, but I'm scared this is the, that same category and that you've been sent in heaps. Okay. Is there something you've been sent heaps this week? I get sent a lot of stuff. But like stuff. the same thing over oh, and over? I don't know. Hey, where are you sending it? Text? I'll send you a text message. I'll send you a text. I'll send you one SMS. <laughs> this is a new scented candle that's hit the market. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't seen this. Okay, so the the ca- um, descriptor of the candle, first sip of Diet Cola. Obviously couldn't get the rights to Diet Coke. Uh, <laughs> citrus zest sparkles above bubbly fizz. Spl- oh, sorry, I'm doing the wrong voice. Citrus zest sparkles hey, hey, above. Sorry, I was going to cue up a sexy piano and go. <laughs> Citrus zest sparkles above bubbly fizz, splashed with a hint of cherry syrup. <sighs> that was. It hard. sounds better than maybe it would smell. It would don't smell you think? pretty shit. But um, I respect but the that cherry. Why does it have cherry in it? Oh, just as is a, that cherry cold? No, it's just as a garnish. Okay, a, a rumor of cherry. A suggestion of cherry. A whisper of cherry. A. A flight of cherry. A flight of cherry. I think also you know it's coming from the right place because they know it's not just the taste of Diet Cola. It's the sip. The, the first, first sip, sip. That real spicy sip. Yeah. Um, speaking of Diet Coke, recently on a Champion Tarpa live stream, and I think we maybe touched on it on the pod, Ryan mentioned. Um, I, I don't redact. It was redacted. It, that can't be redacted because in my heart it's alive. I told Tony I would get her a Diet Coke fountain for my home. And and obviously, hang on, I just will say, obviously it's being left up to chance because you don't know who you've got the Secret Santa yet. Oh, so it's a Secret Santa gift. I thought it was. Okay, that makes sense. Um, that's what I thought. So what's the limit this year? One Diet Coke fountain in my house. Okay. <laughs> um I've been thinking about what I might get my person. We're getting close to December. Is it a hollandaise sauce fountain? It is now. I want a bar tap in my kitchen built in where I can just go and have hollandaise sauce on tap. Okay, question. Mm -hmm. What if it was actually one of those like fountains, like a chocolate fountain, but it was hollandaise? Like a fondue? Yes. A hollandaise fondue. Oh, and then we just come around with bread. like, And then you just fucking dip it in. And we just get like toasted fuckachia and just like, oh... How, would you settle for that? Settle? But That's that sounds the dream. pretty good. Like instead of a tarp, because I think it would need the movement to like make it not go <laughs> off. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just churning in your tarp. <laughs> yeah, that's no, good Sorry call. for saying that. Good call. No, I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. All right. Can it be- Add to the list of ideas. Near the pool. Oh, I don't like think you'd want it in the two sun. Two good things. I don't think you'd want oh, yeah, it in the yeah, sun. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, I can I can run with that. I just want. We were talking about Diet Coke. I just thought I would. Well, sit depends that in who and you get for Secret Santa and who's. It does depend who on who Sophie I get for gets Secret and Santa. who I get. Who Sophie gets? Yeah, exactly right. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I love you so much. Thank you so much for listening. On and, um, Monday, a cra- surprise for Monday. A surprise for Monday. <laughs> crazy Naomi stories. Who? <laughs> Name-based coincidence chat's happening on Monday. We'll chat to you then. Love you.